at the John Shilton Memorial Show. There will be an Anarchy Championship match. And the loser of this match will be retired forever from ring action in HCWA. So that means all you lose, JW, shut up, let me finish. If you lose, you're gone forever. The manager in this match is the raging rebel Robert Stanley. What? Ladies and gentlemen of the HCWA, it's the voice of the HCWA, Matt Mahoney. And yes, I look like Bishop Don Juan at a Snoop Dogg concert. I look like a circus peanut and those little teeny bitty packs of peanuts. I look like Dick Tracy on a 1990s Nintendo video game. I understand. This is Rassel Chat. <clears throat> I am your host, Matt Mahoney. We do have a great show for you tonight. <clears throat> Matter of fact, never mind all that. <clears throat> this, this is ridiculous. JB Smooth, the board of directors of HGWA. This is all ridiculous. No more. I mean, you dressed up like a clown, made like a Christmas tree, made like a little doodle bird. None of that. It's not going to happen anymore. You broke my arm. You messed with my family. You've talked about my kid. That's enough. I've had it up to here. Do I look like I'm having fun? No. Now that I got that out of the way, <clears throat> let's get on to this very exciting show we have for you this evening. Apologize for that <clears throat> imperfectionalism, but it's got to be said, and this man is ridiculous. I mean, look at me. Does this look fly? Is this cool? No, it is not. feel like a washed down minister or something. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, we have an exciting show for you this evening. Great clips and special guests. I'm kind of even scared to say it. I have special guests this evening, which is a great panel. It's the Black Plague. I mean, it's all I got to say. It's John Hitman Evans, Matt Sulfur, two members of the Black Plague. Mysterious by their absence, the other two members, but we'll get to that as soon as I bring these gentlemen up and a lot of other things that's going on in the HCWA right now. This thing is itchy. A lot of other things going on in the HCWA right now that we want to mention. But JW Dahl no longer in action with the HCWA. Put out of action, in ring action, by his best friend, his brother, the Razor Rebel Robert Stanley, the new anarchy champion of the HCWA. We have brand new tag team champions. Don't the matter, they are here. The Black Plague. John Hitman Evans, and Matt Sulphur. Also, I, I did a weird, bizarre, crazy, really awesome interview, I guess, in some type of way, kind of embarrassing, with the facilitator of the Black Plague a few days ago. And huh, we're going to show you a few clips of that hopefully tonight. And all oh, what you get, you better be excited. And you better go check it out because tonight is the release, the premiere of that interview on the Black Plague's Facebook, also on HCWA YouTube, and you don't want to miss this. I tell you what, you don't want to miss it, because I wish I would have missed it, because it was terrible. But anyways, you don't want to miss this. Everything going on in the HCWA right now, we have a whole hour. Don't forget, give us a call, channel 21 BTW. Matter of fact, guys, without further ado, I'm going to go ahead and bring the plague up. Black Plague, guys, come on in here. If, uh, well, they don't. Well, they never look too happy. That's, gentlemen, is, it, is this funny to you? Are you amused by that? It's all right. Sofer, Matt Sofer, John Hitman Evans, the HCWA. John Evans. Oh, excuse me. We're dropping, the, we're dropping the Hitman. I'm sorry. John Evans. Is that okay? Is that, is that all right? Anyways, they, they frighten me. Wrong John with Evans. Chairs, man. What? What is wrong with these chairs? I, I'm not 100% sure, sir. John Evans, Matt Sofer, the brand new HCWA Tag Team Champions. Gentlemen, we were just, well, I was just talking. Give us a call, 647-9289-721 BTW. How, how do you guys feel now that you're the new HCWA Tag Team Champions? The new? The new? What? Shut up. The oh. new? 
Didn't you, Bill McMichaels go over this with you already? Yeah, the facilitator, nice, strange gentleman. It's bizarre. You found your way back, okay. Yeah, I'm mm -hmm. hitchhiking, feeder, yeah, it's been a rough week. And apparently you picked up some god-awful suit in the process. Yeah. Look like a creamsicle, man. Thank you. I appreciate that. Mm-hmm. I mean, my, good day, dude. Yeah. I mean, come on, man. I know. I know. Now, when you say the new tag team champions, now hold, hold on, I'm going to correct you on something, and I'm pretty sure Bill McMichaels has already made this very clear. Mm -hmm. We never lost them. They got taken from us. I had to go on a hiatus for a little while, and That's my true. partner here and my other buddy took over, but they got wrongfully taken from them. Yeah, yeah th that was uh, carefully explained by the facilitator, but... What we also mentioned is a few months ago, you two beat the you-know-what out of each other. Mr. Sulphur explained that brothers fight. What is your words on that? Brothers fight. They have disputes. Brothers fight. Things happen. Things were said. I said some things. He said some things. So we hashed it out like brothers would do. So, but I'm going to go ahead and give you a full fair warning. Okay. Depending on how your questions go tonight, mm -hmm. depends on if I come over this table or not. All right, well, you So, know. that being said, watch your mouth. Or what happened to you at our last interview when I carefully placed you up against the wall? Carefully. This time, I'm going to put you through the wall. Oh, right. Yeah. That was gentle for him. That Gentle. That was yes. gentle. Yeah, I had back problems for about a week. <clears throat> Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, Matt Sulfur, John Evans, 647-9289. If you have any questions out there for the Black Plague, Matt Mahoney, Don Juan, whatever you want to call me here tonight, give us a call, 647-9289. I'm just, I'm just saying. Do you think I like this? This is not pleasant. Why would <laughs> no, you but wear it funny. if you didn't like it? I have to wear it or I don't have a job. So you listen? You, listen? I have to listen. you actually listen to people? I have to. It's part of the job, unfortunately. Anyways, gentlemen, let's get back. To what we were talking about. I mean, yeah, you, you get off subject very easily. Yeah, I sure do. This is very flub, flubbergasted to me. You two gentlemen, new HCWA tag team champion. Correction. Okay. Correct yourself. You guys are still the just tag team the champions. Just drop the news. Let's just drop the news. The tag team champions. The tag team champions. Okay. The facilitator made it completely clear to me that you did not cheat whatsoever to win those titles. No. I know this. I called the match. It was completely fair. The elbow that you gave the Raging Rebel was completely fair. I mean, all of it was fair. Did JB Smooth and them try to cheat? Sure, yeah. But this is, I know, I did the interview, everything was straight down the middle. But he never said no. When I asked him if you guys were in cahoots with JB Smooth, he never said the word no. He never said that. I mean, he beat around the bush. You said, really oh. don't use your ears very well, do you? But the no word never came out. But he's explained it very clearly. Just saying. Never said no. Your two-year-old mind should be able to comprehend two. his logic. You want to know if we are in cahoots? Yes, cahoots. Do we look? Look at him. Look at me. Look at me. Oh. We've went over this before, remember? Yeah. Eye contact, got it. Right. <laughs> Eye contact. Eye contact. You remember Chris Phoenix, what he looks like? Yeah, very and well. You, you've met personally the facilitator, correct? Yeah, that I okay, have. Okay, do we look like men that would be in cahoots I, I, with J.B. Smooth? I wasn't thinking, but... You do you know. remember the offer we were made and, well, so nicely turned down? Yeah, I do. I mean, $30,000, yeah, Santana. We do yeah. things on our time, on our way. Let's put it this way. We do things to get the job done. It does not matter what it takes. We do it and we get it done. Like he said, we do it in our time. It doesn't matter what JB Smooth has to say about it, what Robbie Stanley has to say about it, what your goofy tail has to say about it. It doesn't matter. I, I don't care who you are. But whatever you say about it, I mean, you can ask people around. I have no problem putting commentators on their faces. Understandable. You haven't seen violence, Mahoney. I'm being nice compared to what I can be. But see, come to Saturday, whether 
I don't care who it is that we face, you're going to see violence. And you're going to see a lot of it. I definitely believe that. Coming from you, I wouldn't think you would lie. I definitely believe that. A little scared, shaking, fatigued, <clears throat> parched. Anyways, so you guys steal the tag team champions. We'll drop the word new. <clears throat> What's next for the Black Plague in the HGWA? We're going to run through every tag team that there is. So it's just tag team. Is that, I mean, oh, it, for I mean, now. What's next? For now. You know, I, I got to thinking after we did the uh, the interview with the facil facilitator, and um, facilitator. yeah, well, facilitator, tater, tater, whatever you want to call him. He won't be happy to hear that. Yeah, don't, don't, don't call him a we'll manager. Him we found that out pretty quick. My thing is, you know, he like to talk about history. The history of the word black plague is actually sickness. It's a disease. It's something that eats. Humans, you know, is that what you guys are on the HCWA? Are y'all sickness? Are y'all a disease that are like eating the HCWA from the inside out? Is that what's going I on? I prefer to think of us as more of a cleansing. A cleansing? Is that like a, a colon cleansing? Or is no. that? Oh, okay. We don't need to know what you do on your weekends. I'm just, what? We don't need to know what you're that's planning on doing after tonight. Nah, that's a party at Mahoney's house. Yeah, it sounds that way. Not even cool. No, see, we are there to cleanse and bring forth truth. Okay. Uncover the lies that have been spread and told completely through the company. That makes sense. That makes sense. I just, I just wanted to emphasize the word black plague because, you know, we went through the numerous names of the groups that you guys have had and all kind of leads into the same thing. So your boss, the facilitator, your cult leader, whatever he may be, he is, <clears throat> do we look like a cult? I'm kind of, a little bit. I mean, the way I had to get there, it was okay, well then you, do you want to drink the Kool-Aid then? Did no, I passed. Did you I remember to get it? It was. Get the Kool-Aid? I would pass. What? We're not you drinking. You got to put the Kool-Aid. Oh, my God. God. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, six, four, seven, nine, two, eight, nine. No one is drinking the Kool-Aid. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah. We'll go get you some Kool-Aid. I don't want any Kool-Aid. When we get done, we'll punch you this. Six, four, seven, nine, two, eight, nine. Give us a call. Rassel Chat. Matt Sulfur. John Evans, the eight CWA Tag Team Champions. Now, question, gentlemen. You know, obviously, Justin Zane and Raven Havoc are up for a rematch. They have to be, right? I mean, the way they lost the titles was unjustifiable. So I would have to say they're probably the ones lined up for y'all. Are y'all worried about that? Is that an no. issue? Is that something on your mind? Is it something that you can't sleep about? We're what not is worried it? about hold, anything. Hold on. All respect to Zane and Havoc. I've watched them. I've been watching. See, that's what we do. We don't talk a whole lot in the back. We just sit back in the darkness and the shadows and we watch everybody. All right? I've watched Zane and Havoc. All respect to them two guys. They are very, very good workers. But when it comes to this, I'm sorry. There's nobody in this world that stands a chance to get these from us. Nobody. Now, if Zane and Havoc want a piece, they can come get some. We, we'll give them every bit of what they want. And then some more. I believe that. Well, you know, another tag team. What about the Smooth Criminals? What about JB Smooth? <laughs> well, obviously they're the former HGWA tag team champions. They have to be up for a rematch in their contract. So he's the boss, obviously. Wouldn't you believe that he's gonna give them a rematch for their tag team titles? Okay. But you, Robert Ash let's was go not back there, to, so. Let's go back to some history. When Evans and I originally claimed these titles, that Elvis wannabe, yeah. again, Elvis wannabe, you know, yeah. fake yeah. greaser, whatever you want to call yeah. him. Fake greaser, it's funny. Okay? Yeah. He was half of that tag team. So we've beaten was. him. That okay. he was. In fact, if I'm not mistaken, he was too scared to get into the ring and do anything about it when we pinned his former partner. Oh, wow, was, look um, at that. I, no, I remember what happened. I kicked Hard his word teeth. from Matt Soap. I kicked his teeth down his throat. Oh, wow. That's what happened. Yeah, and that's why he was too scared to get yeah, in and do anything Evans. about it. And Vice might have some words to say about and it. And you know what? No, he might sing it. True. Possible. That, that is possible. I won't say too much <clears throat> about it, but Ash and I have been allies at one time, so I'm not worried about him either. Understandable. Robert Ash not at the last show, so he was actually not you guys' opponent. It was Gunner Brooks threw into the match. Do you think that played a factor in the fact that you guys won 
By the way, rumor Good has it Utah. Robert Ash was stuck in an ashtray somewhere. That's why he couldn't make it. So. Yeah, no, I heard that. Gunner, heard Gunner that. Brooks has nothing to do with anything. We didn't pin Gunner. I knocked Robbie Stanley's teeth clean down his throat, that and then did. he just so pleasantly put his knee into his skull. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm getting at. Do you think? Do you gentlemen think if the match would have been one on one? The Black Plague versus the Smooth Criminals, the outcome would have been the same. Yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I don't even see why this even put in the question. Actually, I think it would have happened it's quicker. Question. It we wouldn't have, have like... to worry about the other two. Just a question. Just throw out there a type of question. Remember that Remember the first statement I made at the beginning of the yeah, show? Yeah, I remember, remember that. Yeah, Is that yeah, okay? Yeah. Was that Still applies. Kosher? Okay, it applies. But maybe we <laughs> should let him in on something. You watch that match, go back and watch it. Because I know you probably go back and yes, that, you sit yeah. in the dark and you fantasize about what, what? you see on the screen. What yeah. it's like to be a wrestler. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's exactly yeah. Right. About But anyways, it. let's take it back. Watch. Who wasn't in the ring for very long at a time? True. Us. Yeah. What did we do? We did what he exactly said. We sat back and we watched. Yeah. We let them tire themselves out. That you did. There's your outcome. Makes a, make a reliable point. Now, I want to take it back for a minute. You do all this, let's go back to this and let's go back to that. You <sighs> asked us the question, what is next for the Black Plague? Don't worry about what is next for the Black Plague. You will soon Again, see. Again, we do things how we want, when we want, and it doesn't matter what J.B. Smooth or the board of directors or... Which is know, a joke in my mind. <laughs> I'm well, starting to believe the same reason. We don't agree a lot, but I'm going to agree with you on that one. <clears throat> well, you need to start agreeing with us a little bit more because you will soon see that uh, everybody calls us the bad guys, but I, I don't see it. We, well, Like I said, we're there to uncover the lies and bring about the truth. Well, you know, the, the facilitator actually said you guys like me. Now, I'm starting to believe that a little bit. This one right here scares me. On points, Chris Phoenix also frightens me. You made me pee in my pants two times. So it's been a pretty bad time with you guys. 647-9289. Give us a call if you have any questions to the Black Plague. Do you, as the fans, think that they won the tag team titles fair and square? I believe they did. What is your opinion? 647-9289. And guys, quickly, I want to jump off subject. I want to get off of the tag team titles. I want to talk about, real quick, I want to talk about your opinion on the J.W. Dalton, Razor Rebel, Robert Stanley match. Do you guys know anything about this matchup that happened? We don't have to worry about one less person now. Oh, wow, well, there we go. No. All right, we have a caller. Mm -hmm. One less. Come on. Call you live on the air, Rassel Chat. Matt Mahoney. Hey, how's it going? Where's the bounty hunter at? Hey, hey. I'm sorry? Where's the bounty hunter at? I don't have a bounty hunter, but this gentleman right here kind of looks like a bounty hunter or a mounty hunter. <laughs> You're putting out that bounty, and I'm going to protect your back. Oh, this gentleman says he's got my back. <laughs> Look at that. I don't see him. Uh, oh, well. He ain't here right now. Yeah, so. well, I could use you here if you're a big guy. If you're not, mm, I wish you were. Anything you'd like to say to the Black Plague? Because they're kind of big and evil over here. <clears throat> the new, I mean, excuse me, the tag team champions of the HCWA. He's going he's he's to know what this tastes like if he says new one more time. I'm not saying new again. One more time. You just said it. I didn't. I was talking to him. New with him on the phone. Anyway, you anything you would like to say? The tag team title. They ain't going to win them. They we already, already got them. We got them. They already got them. They're going to lose them then. Who? <laughs> Come to the show Saturday night, and uh, you'll see differently, my friend. That's the tag team is better than they is. Maybe some tag teams better than them. It may be. No, but right I, now, I this proves that they are the best tag team in the company, so we'll have to go with that. It kind of sounds like he's got a pile of doo-doo in his mouth, man. I can't <laughs> understand what he's <laughs> No, we're just respecting fans. That's awesome. Call, we appreciate you calling in. Anything else you'd like to say? I got a tag team challenge. A challenge. A tag team challenge. We're getting challenges. Said, challenge. we're, yeah, we're getting challenges from fans. You guys are doing something hey, right. March 14th at the Wentworth National Guard Armory. Come on. Challenges from fans. That's uh, 
I don't know. I don't know about that, sir. You want to get in the ring with Matt Sulver and John Evans? You better, uh, you better bring your A game because I saw these two kill each other for three months, and it was a. Uh... in the nature boy. Who? Your Ric Flair. <laughs> well then, Bob. All right, we have the call. I appreciate the caller. Call you live on the air, wrestle chat. Uh, hello, caller. Hello. They don't want to talk to you. They don't want to talk, man. I guess they can smell your breath through the phone like what? we can smell Come it right on, here. Man. Anyways, let's... <sighs> Anyways, <clears throat> back to what I was saying. J.W. Dalton, the Raging Rebel Robert Stanley. The Raging Rebel, the brand new ACW Anarchy Champion, had to put his best friend out of action. Done. No more wrestling in the ACWA for J.W. Dalton. We may never even see J.W. Dalton again in the ACWA. What is y'all's opinion on that? Or do you have one on that? Well, I've been in the ring several times with JW. As have I. He is a, I will have to agree with Robbie on one thing. He is probably one of the toughest men I've ever been in the ring with. No doubt about it, no question about it. But at the end of the day, it's business. There is no friendships in wrestling. There is a brotherhood in wrestling. You have a brotherhood right here. What, what is it now? What, 10, 10, 12 years we've known each other? I guess that does seem why you guys would fight and collide sometimes. So, two angry when it cats. comes to, ah. Shut up, I'm talking. Okay. When it comes to JW and Robbie, Robbie just did what he needed to do. And I respect him for that, and I also respect JW. But on the other hand, I would have loved to have been the one to put JW out of commission. That wow. would have been okay with me. Big words. And, and now, Robbie Stanley, he just needs to give it up. He is old. He is crippled. <laughs> and his brain functions like a peanut. Oh, wow. Kind of like what your suit looks like right now. Wow. So, really? Thank you. I appreciate he, that. He <clears throat> needs to hang his boots up. You're saying the Raging Rebel's brain. And think about what? this. I believe the Rebel owes you a thank you. A thank you? You busted his mouth. No, <laughs> just listen to me. Think about this. I got rid of that abscess tooth in his mouth. Oh, yeah, you that. did do that. No, no, listen <laughs> to this. Think about it. The month before, was it not you that softened JW up? Yeah, you could say that, but he did crack my skull pretty good. <laughs> We're not worried about that. That that was. But yes, you know, I, yeah, I, I put him. I put him. That through. was. That was. Oh, wait, guys, I hate to cut you off, but I, I've been told that we got to take a commercial break, and right after this commercial break, we're gonna see clips of the most anticipated interview in ACWA history with the facilitator, the first ever interview with the facilitator that he had never granted anyone, and he granted it to me. I'm not too happy right now. But anyways, we'll be right back after these commercial breaks. What did you do today? Well, I had a very busy day helping to take care of people. American Aww. National University's medical assisting degree program positions you for success in one of today's fastest growing healthcare occupations. And our credit for college, life experience, or military training saves you time and money. You take care of them just like you take care of us. Our Martinsville campus is waiting to hear from you. Call or Hello, my name's Dustin Osborne, and this is my wife, Lisa. I'm a fourth generation funeral director and embalmer, and also the general manager of Collins and McKeystone Funeral Homes. We consider it an honor to serve our families and our community. We are here to provide the comfort, guidance, and support that you and your family deserve during your time of need. Collins and McKeystone Funeral Homes have been serving our community since 1935. You're watching BTW 21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service is locally owned and operated. Stop paying high franchise fees and CPA fees. Elite Bookkeeping is open year-round and most of all, affordable. Elite can handle personal tax returns, self-employment, corporate, and more. Call today to meet a caring professional at 647-7100, located across from the Collinsville Post Office. Elite Bookkeeping and Tax Service, 647-7100. Hi, I'm Dr. Jay Payton Moore. We've been improving the lives of lots of denture patients with many dental implants. Here are a few patients to tell you of their success. 
are so easy to fix and get in. There is no pain. I never had to take any pain pills. It's been a, a real gift of a lifetime for me. Call 276-632-3963 for your complimentary consultation with Dr. J. Peyton Moore. Cuball Family Arcades and Billiards on Greensboro Road is the place to be. It's family fun for everyone. The smoke-free environment provides a family-friendly atmosphere. Open Monday through Saturday till midnight, Sunday 2 to 9. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Cuball Family Arcade and Billiards, 734-0417. Join us every Friday for a nine ball tournament at 730, $15 buy-in, green fees covered. You're watching BTW21, your neighborhood network, the pride of Martinsville. Dr. David Jones, Dr. Nicole Deshaun, the Invisalign specialist, now offering state-of-the-art traditional and clear braces, offering Invisalign with no impressions. Come meet the scanner, no impressions. We scan your teeth. For an appointment, call 638-8888. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Wrestle Chat, the most exciting show in the independence of professional wrestling. What? Wrestle. It's Wrestle Chat. No, no, it's W. R E and how you spell it? No, it's W R E T L E. That's right. That's right. Wrestling. So it is R A S S L I N. Anyways, gentlemen. Yeah, I know that's wrestling. Fans, we I promise you. If you want to, if you want to ask is. Matt Sulfur, John Evans, anything, give us a call right now. Oh wait, there we go. They love us. <laughs> love that. Call your live on air wrestle chat. Pimp oh, Daddy Kane. Oh, thank. Yeah, I appreciate that. Unfortunately. I don't think we can say the bad word, but yes. <laughs> you just, I think it's the, you just did. It's the, you just say D-bag. Yeah. Just I don't, say D-bag. I don't think we can say that word on television, but that's okay. Okay, that's, well, we can't use language like that. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this is a Christian network. Please keep your language to a honking steal. Okay, anyway, 647-9289. I promised it to you. Here it goes. A little sneak peek of the most anticipated interview with anyone I've ever saw in independent wrestling. The facilitator of the Black Plague. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the voice of the ACWA, Matt Mahoney and the Independents. And I'll tell you what, I'm really excited. I'm kind of freaked out. I'm out here in the middle of nowhere in North Carolina. The wooded areas, mountains, what well, it doesn't matter. Because what an exciting, exciting adventure I'm on. As you can tell, it's a truck and oh God! <laughs> Anyways, if I can get myself together, ow! I have been granted, ow! The very first interview with the facilitator of the Black Plague. The first, what, what, what is this? It? It's over! Ah, oh, it hurts! I'm very low! I'm scared! Everybody? Everybody? This is kind of weird. I can't feel safe. Oh, wait. Matt. 
Mr. Soap. You a little bit much. You wanted the facilitator. This is a little much, though. It, the wood's really with a dropping down, and my leg is wet. Oh! Land. Hey, how would you? Oh! Okay. <clears throat> yes, uh, <clears throat> Matt Mahoney, the voice of the HGWA, the facilitator of the Black Plague, and watch that scary snake. Snivel. One question that you are the hardest man in the world to get in touch with. Well, all this, the mountains, the woods, the sulfur. Why, why? How are you doing, Matt? I'm all right. A little shooken up, scared a little, pants are wet. How was your trip? Uh, you know, fair, ledge, a little. You thirsty? No, yeah, I'm like, I'm parched a little bit. A little maybe parched. maybe you should have brought your own drink. That's all right. That's very rude. But anyways, everyone wants to really, really know what is what is the power that you have over the Black Plague? It seems like you speak, they listen. He has these, but I'm it doesn't use explain okay. something to you. Again, one last time. I do not rule them. They rule themselves. And we rule everything else. Everything that's happened before and everything that happens after. All right, well, part two of the peace session so just started. It's going to be the Black Plague Presents History, Heretics, Lesson One, Volume One. And you think you know the Black Plague, Mr. History Man, Mr. Voice of HCWA? I'm trying. Wait until you see what comes. <laughs> and we've only just begun this interview, but for now, it's time for you to go. Go away. Okay. Back in the... Hey, nice to meet you, Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Come on now, Matt. Mr. Sober, what is all this? Uh, can't we just, like, take a... Cut this. Uh, Gentlemen, HGWA, I see a road right there. So I just got to find my way home. This is ridiculous. Just, just cut it off. Cut it off! Oh, Mr. Soap, I got it. Dark! Hey! Girl, get this. How did that. How in the. How did you do that? You see it in the video and it just. Oh, you guys, how in the, that even oh. physically possible? I was sitting here watching the video. Anyways, ladies and gentlemen, just a sneak peek. If you want to see the rest of it, it is now available. I've just been told now available on HCWA, excuse me, on Wrestling HCWA at YouTube. Also, you can catch it exclusively on the Black Plague's Facebook page. It's definitely going to be up there, and it is, it's an interview you don't want to miss, and believe me, I'm actually hurting from it. I only got two pair of wet pants. It's a bad, it was really crazy. My feet, I walked 20 miles. Was not even cool, man. It just wasn't. It is what it is, man. It is what it is? It, Look, all that just to get an interview? You wanted the interview. Well, you've got to pay the price. And from my understanding, <laughs> there's a part two. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> a part two. A part two. Yeah, that's going to be fun. Yeah, you'll love that one. Yeah, I'm sure I will. What, are you going to duck me in a water tank and drag me through the Sierra Desert or something? Like, what is it? <laughs> what's Sierra, Sahara. Sahara. Yeah, no, Sierra. Have you not got the Matt Mahoney Dictionary? Huh. Word for life? Anyway, <clears throat> call your live on the air wrestle chat. I've seen any kids lately. What? For starters, you're out there.
outfit is the ugliest outfit I've, <laughs> I have ever seen Kudos. in my whole entire life. Well, true that. Thank you, you know, J.B. Smooth made me wear this outfit, so it's not something I like it. <laughs> well, you do look like an orange creamsicle. Thank you. I, I really appreciate that. <laughs> and second off, Matt and John sound really cocky. They are cocky. <laughs> It's well, not they cocky like they're if you really back cocky it up. And stuck up, and that's my opinion. Stuck up? Oh no, it's not cocky if you can't if you back it up. We back up everything we do. It's called confidence. Okay, well, you see this outfit? I think all y'all this is gonna make me hurt my feet. Ruin, yeah. ruin, ruin! Shut her up. Thank you, caller. Thank you for giving well, us a call. Have a great day, and I can't wait till the 14th. Well, we can't wait till the 14th either. We'll see you there. Call you live on the air, Rassel Chat. Go ahead. Am I live on the air? Are you kidding me? Oh, no, I ain't kidding you. You're live on the air with I'm Matt Mahoney. I'm live on the air. Well, how you doing, Matt Mahoney? I'm doing all right. How are you? Actually, I'm having a bad day. My back hurts. I got this terrible suit on. I got something growing yeah, on my toe. I mean, it's a real it, bad day. You know, it's like a fly squirrel every now and then. He'd have to find another way to starve to death. Nah, true. That's true. That's true. Oh, wait a minute. I think I recognize this voice. <laughs> What are you talking about? I recognize this voice. No. Yes, I do. I recognize this guy right here. Sounds like every other redneck in Virginia. Really? It, that's not very nice. That wasn't a nice no, statement. Wait, wait. Anyways, really? ladies and gentlemen, you want to know sorry, who this is? that's classified. It's, it's, guys, it's more like cabbage hey, heads in Virginia. let's focus here. Let's focus. Oh, I'm sorry. Can we pay attention? This is the Carolina Classic champion on the phone right here. <clears throat> D-Nice himself. Am I wrong, caller? Hey, that's right. There you go. Right. D-Nice on the phone. Do you have anything you want to say to the Black Plague up here, Mr. Nice? I mean, you got Matt Sulfur, you got John Evans. They're the tag team champions of the HCWA. Hey, hey, hey you, got, you got a bunch of young talent up there, brother. Uh, now there ain't nothing you can, I mean, you can't bad mouth them. I mean, they rolling. I mean, there's nothing you can do about it. Well, I mean, uh, you got to take that as a compliment. It's coming I from mean, a veteran uh, like that. You know, mm. hey, you can't take away talent, kid. You can... Add stuff to it, take stuff from it, but, you know, all in all, the boys can work. It's got to be talent. I know you guys don't get along with him. You got to give him props. He just gave hey, you a compliment. Finally, someone realizes what we've been saying and what we've been showing. <laughs> I mean, there's nothing I can say to that. Is there anything you can say to that? No, I just Hard wish the board of directors off, would look at it like that. And Hard that, work pays off. Hard work pays off from D-Nice. And D-Nice, you know, you're not, you're not the uh, individual that actually gets along with guys like Matt Sofer and John Evans, but it's nice that you have respect for talent. Oh, yeah, I mean, you know, we have to, you know, no men we're best friends, but, uh, you know, the game is called respect sometimes. Obviously, they, uh, they respect that, that you respect that, that they respect that. Everyone respects that. Oh, yeah, wrestling is a, is a business of respect. Well, you know, I was thinking about something, Matt Mahoney, as I was sitting here. Uh-huh. So Bobby Yellow's got a match with uh, Robert Stanley. I haven't uh, been told that United. yet. I haven't been right, told that. Is that right? I mean, is that right? Is, I mean, that's what I've been told. Bobby Yellow has a match with the Raging Rebel Robert Stanley? Yes, sir. I haven't been told that. That's something new, ladies and gentlemen. Bobby Yellow apparently has a match against the Raging Rebel. And now, do you know if this is for I the... Wanna, I don't know anything other than that, my friend. See, there you uh, go. That's new. Talking about is, uh, Who do you put your money on? I want a cage match with Mr. Bobby Yellow. Oh, look at that now. Ladies and gentlemen, who would like to see that? 647-9289. D nice. Oh, you gonna put the Carolina Classic title up, Mr. Oh, nice. definitely. Hey, I'm a homophobic champion and always. It will always the Carolina be Classic right. Championship defended. That ring is, should be on the line. And the steel cage. What do you guys think about that? It'd be a pretty good matchup. You wouldn't need a steel cage for Bobby Yellow. He's a freaking Chihuahua. Bring a dog kennel. No, I knew that was coming. I knew that was coming. Yeah. Uh, real quick, Dean, that's why I got you on the phone. So for Evans, I, I want to talk real quick about this. Um, you know, we saw the return at the last show of the Raging Rebel Robert Stanley's son, C Rock. Yeah. What, what is uh, you guys' opinion on that, D Nice? Well, I, you know, C Rock, uh, his eyes uh, seem to be healed up pretty good. True. Uh, you know, let's you know, let's see if his mind's still in the game. Let's get him in there. And see what terrible injury took C Rock out. Also, a beating by J B Smooth and his guys also didn't help. 
following the injury. But oh, what's a sofa? Let's see what he's really got. Let's put him in the ring with us. Oh, well, there you go. D Nice, is there anything else you'd like to say to the boys up here? Or to okay, the HCWA real, we'll fans? What's that? I'm sorry. I said, y'all keep it real and take care. Yes, sir. Thank you. A class act, D Nice, the Carolina Classic champion. Thank you, D Nice. All right, he hangs up. Anyways, real quick, I want to go ahead and talk about people. In this company, it seems that everyone is targeting JB Smooth. Look at this. This is ridiculous. Everyone should be targeting JB Smooth, or they're going to end up looking like me or on Soda Pop. You want to know why you look like a Soda Pop? Why? Because you let him. Exactly. How, what am I supposed to do? I pushed. I hit. I hit vice. You hit. I hit. I hit him with. That's, a, hit that's him the with Mahoney. A, that's hit him with a new dance. dance the Mahoney. Mahoney. Dance. Yeah. Dance. Now listen. I Mahoney. hit vice hey, with the cane. Hey, JB and he needs broke. to make you do that in the middle of the ring to the fourth. Anyways, I hit vice with the candy cane on Christmas. It shattered everywhere. I'm trying to defend myself, but there's not too much I can do. I mean, I'm, in a, I'm a broadcast journalist for God's sake. Anyways, so also I just want to say, you know. Would you guys try to take out J.B. Smith? If he got in our way, of course. If he got in your way. You know, there's other gentlemen out there that's trying to take him out. Uh, the Raging Rabbit, Robert Stanley, be one. D-Nice, be one. The Arrow, DJ Hart, could be another. You know, the Arrow, DJ Hart, this gentleman came back with vengeance. I mean, he popped up back on the scene, and all of a sudden, he was talking to... What, what in the... Hold on now. Do not adjust your set. This is the Broken Arrow, DJ Hart. I'm sorry to interrupt your regularly scheduled wrestle chat, but there are a few things that I thought I should bring to light. You see, for the past two months, I've been absent from the Wentworth Armory. There are those who thought that I simply left, that my war against Smooth Enterprises was futile. Well, I hate to disappoint those who were hoping this to be the truth, but it's a load of crap. I never left. Sat on the sidelines, watched, listened, observed. You want to know what I've learned? That Smooth Enterprises is no different from a pack of rats. Take out one, and the rest jump in to feed like cannibals. Take Robert Ash, for example. He and Vice lost the tag titles. Very next show, Ash was nowhere to be found. You know why? Because he knows that if he shows up without something to bring to the table, now that he's lost his championship, Smooth Enterprises will eat him alive. Unfortunately, he knows this to be true, and I think he has a solution. Is it... You see, if I'm reading the signs, Can we get... something's coming. Something is returning to the HCWA. Something I thought I'd beaten two years ago. I guess I'll just have to beat it again. You see, Robert Ash, he's a coward. He doesn't know how to fly solo. He calls himself the technical artist. And yet, for all sure. his what technical going ability, on? Do know what's going on? I've never you seen him a win a match on his own. He's always had a partner. He's always had cronies. He's always had somebody there to save his skin. We ain't worried about him either. I we guess some before. things never change. I, th I believe that was the other half. That's Vice's partner. So, congratulations, Mr. Ash. Yeah, I think that was him. Let's, let's let him finish. You've just made yourself my next target. Think you can take me again? As far as your little plan goes, as far as this big secret that you think nobody knows about, well, somebody knows. And unfortunately for you, it's the guy looking down his sights right at you. Let's see if I'm right. This is the Broken Arrow. What?
in the blue moon was that? Just what was that? Calm down. I'm just saying. Just calm. How did he, he do that? Riddling. You need some Ritalin, dude. How did he do that? Ritalin? Ritalin, yes, Ritalin. Adderall, what? Why? You need something to calm down. How did he do that? How did he get his face into the screen like that? Remember, remember what All I said? I'll do is go over there and he'll calm down real quick. I said I would jump over there. Okay, I'm calm. calm. Look at bad week. 647 9289. Give us a call if you have any idea how the broken arrow DJ Hart pulled that off. It seemed like he had strong words to Robert Ash, JB Smooth, and every other person in the HCWA. Maybe even you guys. You better watch out for this guy. He's sneaky. He's sneaky. He's getting in from straight TV stage. Hey. We aren't worried about him either. Because remember when we talked about the Elvis wannabe? Well, this so-called living comic book character. That was his partner. He's Yeah, that was the one that we pinned. I believe it was... Yeah, I think it was me. I drove his face into the mat. Yeah. You drove his, you drove his face? Right like after. His, yeah, right the, after I kicked his partner in the was teeth. this part of the... No, it was full frontal. Okay, full frontal. Yeah. frontal. After I dropped him on his head, too. On his, this part of his head. Yeah. No. Anything else? No, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's it. And that's, you know, that's still, it's a mystery. How did he do it? He's not even here. It's like, no, like what? It doesn't even make any sense. Ladies and gentlemen, 647 9289, if you have any idea on how the broken arrow DJ, how? That is an interesting mystery. Why? How did that punk DJ Hart get on television? Did Where? You, somebody, you, you acting dumb. Did you come from? It's not an act. By the way, you look great. I look great? You did this! You got your hair off. Oh, God! Head. You look Get. great, Mahoney. Guys, I, I come in peace, guys. It comes in I peace. I come in peace. What are you, a Navajo Indian? I just came to congratulate you guys on the gold that you're wearing right now. I didn't agree with all your tactics. You kind of beat up on, on Vice and Gunner a little bit, but I know that's y'all's thing. And I'll be brief. I came here to give you guys one more opportunity to be made men in this business. Was it the mafia? Made men. Shut up. I'm just. One thing I do agree with them with is telling you to shut up. Adults are talking. Adult. Shut your lips. Adults. Okay. Grown men are discussing business. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. One Not more opportunity. Go. Think about it. Black Plague, JB Smooth Enterprises. You'll be made men. You'll be, com you'll be holding those for longer than you could ever imagine. And I know, I know the facilitator, the, I don't know who that is exactly. I know he had some disparaging words against me, but I'm a forgiving guy. I mean, you all know how fair J.B. Smooth is. Really? I'm, shut your mouth. Okay. Grown okay. folks are handling business. You're forgiving. Mahoney, you're pathetic. But I'm willing to forgive it all. So here it is, gentlemen. One last chance. I'll let you guys think about it. Give me an answer this Saturday, March 14th, in the National Guard Armory in Wentworth, North Carolina. I'll be waiting. You got two options. Come to the smooth side, or you can fear the plan. Oh, no. It's up to you. Oh, okay. Think about it. <laughs> okay. I still don't get that. Like, fear the plans. I like they build it and they will come. Is that how that works? You need to fear the plans. Oh, I, I get it. I get it. Good thing I'm wearing these sunglasses with that suit. I, I picked out a good suit yeah, for you. Yeah, I'm sure you did. Thank you. Bishop. Think about it, guys. More power than you could possibly imagine. Come to the smooth side or fear the plan. That's a man that thinks he has more power than what he really has. Yeah, I'll tell you should what. be disturbed with these two gentlemen standing up right now because I know it made me a little perturbed myself. I mean, I think you wet your pants again. I did man. not. You need to start time. wearing the pants or something. Why are you saying that? 647 9289. JB Smooth. Who let him in the building? How, how did Why he even he get here? in here? Where did he come from? I always say he's a snake in the grass. They slithering on up here. I mean, I don't understand. It didn't even make any sense. He was like, no one here. We're having a good conversation. And then, BAM! Like, he was just. All up in your face. It didn't make any sense. 647-9289. Give us a call if you want to talk to the HCWA Tag Team Champions, the Black Plague. And gentlemen, now that... I don't the, like being given ultimatums. Now that he's gone, let's, I don't let's like think about that. Now he just, our time. 
Hey, yes, this is y'all's time. This, Second this segment was all about you guys. Now you've been interrupted by Twice. the arrow, We've been DJ Hart, and now by JB Twice. Smooth. So how does this make you feel? See, here's the funny thing. He called himself the broken arrow. You calling him the arrow, well, he gets in our way. We'll make him a broken arrow. He is the, I said the broken arrow. No, you said. You said the arrow. arrow. No, I said the broken arrow. No, you arrow. said the, the arrow. arrow. You it's got two it. to one. Okay. Get edgy. You got edgy. Yeah, edgy. I can't you know. say, I can't put the yeah. M in front of it because We're it's, being polite. Are you from Supernatural? That's where I saw you from, man. Can I get your autograph? Okay. All right. It was a joke. Come, laughter comes after jokes most of the time. I just thought you were Bobby from Supernatural because you said idiot. Anyway, 647-9289. This has got good taste in TV shows. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, anyways, gentlemen, after the ultimatum that was just given by J.B. Smooth, how does that factor in to the Black Plague this Saturday night in Wentworth? Well, honest and truly, I'm really not going to give it a whole lot of thought. We've turned him down once before. What makes him think we're going to accept it? Why? Fear Why the plan it? is what he said. And here's fear the, the plan. He, he says fear the plan. Well, you've met the facilitator. And I have. Okay. That's not a man you do not want to cross. Exactly. Yeah. I'm glad you still have it, by the way. Keep that handy. No. You're going to need it for mm. part two. I'm sure. But back to JB Smooth. Mm. Well, you say fear the plan, JB. Well, I'd fear the facilitator's plan. I would too. He has snakes. Oh, and you haven't even begun to see the snakes. It's, it's a disturbing <laughs> spot. Ladies and gentlemen, real quick, I want to give a shout out to everybody who helps us out here at Channel 20, 21. See, y'all got me all flabbergasted. Channel 21, BTW, and HTWA. Also, this weekend, do not forget to be there. The Wentworth National Guard Armory in Wentworth, North Carolina, where you will see the Black Plague in action, possibly defending their tag team championship. Not 100% sure on that. Oh, no. If we will defend. They say they will if they, defend. If they got a tag team that's worthy of us, then we will defend. I think we're actually calling this show the St. Patrick's Day Massacre. Also, we want to give a shout out to our friends in Eden at EAW. They have a big event coming up. Jan uh, excuse me, March the 27th, EAW in Eden Event Center in Eden, North Carolina at the Eden Mall. Go check them out. The voice of the HCWA and the independence is now the voice of EAW also. So that money's getting around a little bit, guys. Growing. Growing. Too bad it didn't start when you were younger, Sean. Oh, God. You might have been able to prevent putting that suit on tonight. Thanks. I yep. appreciate that. Well, we, we are for hire. We, 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 we take money. How much you got? What? How for protection? Yeah, how much you got? Uh, I got a dollar. Not enough. Let's put it that way. I got a dollar, some envelopes, and some jawbreakers. Will that work? How about I just break your jaw and we what? just call okay, it? Okay, that's cool. Anyway, 647-9289. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, all the exciting things that's been going on in the HCWA at this moment, at this time, it's, it's mind-boggling. I mean, we got <clears throat> HCWA champions. We get the new out. Like, they used to get the F out, we get the new out. We got a new anarchy champion in the HCWA, and the Raging Rebel Robert Stanley, J.W. Dalton, is no longer in action. No longer. It's bye bye bye, J.W. Gone. He's out of here. I mean, he's done. We saw the return of Seabock, which is a very interesting factor going into this Saturday night. Where is Seabock going to play in the factor? We'll find out Saturday night. Also, let's not forget about Jesse Santana. In the corner of the former tag team champions, the outlaw Wayne Taylor and the Raging Rebel Robert Stanley. Santana is a force to be reckoned with. We all know the money, the power. I mean, he is a force. Money isn't everything in this world. But money makes it go round. It's just true. Yeah. But money can't buy what we have. It's, it's tried. It has this, tried. This is dominance. This is a machine. The Black Play, we are one entity. You understand me? One entity. Our minds are together. That's what makes us so dangerous. A lot of smooth criminals, they are out for themselves. Robbie Stanley's little pack of hillbillies or whatever they're called. Pack I don't of know, and I don't care what they're called. Like, they're out for themselves. Like hills have eyes. Shut up! All right. All right. 
Honestly, that's all that. Shut up! Just a question. Sh all right, okay, sorry. We were, my homie, I swear to God, man, I swear. I'm going to come up over this table so fast, you ain't going to blink before I can get to you. Okay, I got it. Shut up. We work as one unit. We are out for one thing, and that's it. And we got it. See, that's what happens when you work as a team. You get what you want. And now Phoenix, he got a little surprise of his own somewhere down the line. Shut up, I'm not done talking. Okay. I might get music. But when he goes for what he wants, he's going to get it. You want to know why? It ain't going to be because of cheating. It ain't going to be because we were out there to help him. He's just going to get it because he knows that the Black Plague always has his back. No matter what. Because I know if he's got something to do with smooth criminals, they're going to come out there and jump him or something like that. Because they can't do anything by themselves. True. They don't have a backbone. And neither do you. Right. Grow one, by the way. Because what we just seen JB do to you was just pathetic. He didn't do anything. Sad. He talked he, he talk down to you like you were his five-year-old kid, man. Man, he's, he's something. And you let him do it. Not, not anymore. Not, not, anymo not anymore. You j he just not did anymore. it. It's not going to happen promise, anymore. JB! Is he what still is he? here? He's not here. Is JB still here? He's gone. He's, he's not here. Anyways, no. ladies and gentlemen, we have... Three minutes left in the That's program, 647-9289. Give us a call. And again, do not forget, this weekend, the 14th of March, gentlemen, we can't stress this more and more, how important this show is going to be. I mean, obviously, for the tag team champions, we have two minutes. Anything can happen this Saturday night. Until we have two minutes left in the show, anything else you guys would like to say to the HGWA fans, and everyone watching out there in Martinsville, Henry County, and wherever else they may be watching at. I don't know. I'm kind of bored with you. Yeah, that's, I'm kind of getting on my nerves. Hey, very nice. Point. So, in the nicest fashion that we can do, we're actually going to leave now because we have other things that we have to do besides sit here and smell your breath. Oh, I appreciate so, that, gentlemen. Next, Next time, time, why don't you tell JB to his face that you're not going to take this crap anymore? I, I told him he's going to watch this. He's going to watch it from then, home. Okay. All right. Um, Saturday. It's going to suck for everyone. All right. All right. That's a little much there. Thank you. You still got it? Yeah. It's why don't you put it back on? No, I don't. Put it's it. all right. I why got it, it right here. On. I don't want to put it back on. My homie, I'm going to give you three seconds to put it on. We appreciate you watching Rassel Chat. For Matt Mahoney, Matt Sulfur, and John Evans. God darn, who cut the lights out? <sighs> Appreciate you watching, Master Chat. We'll see you this weekend. St. Patrick's Day Massacre. Are they gone yet? Are they gone? Take this with Thank you. We'll see you this weekend. This is ridiculous. Uh, Yeah.